You mentioned that you tried so hard on your first baby to increase your milk supply and boost it so that you could maintain it when you went back to work, but you pumped for 30 minutes and didn't get hardly anything. And you're wanting to be successful at breastfeeding the second time around. And because breastfeeding is so beneficial for you and your baby, it's definitely worth a second shot. There's a couple of important things to keep in mind. Milk production is a supply and demand type of function. And the more you stimulate your body to make milk, the more milk it should make. And your body is stimulated to make milk when, the, when all of the ducts in the breast tissue are emptied. These ducts are emptied either by a baby nursing or by pumping. And you need to use a good pump. A baby will always be the most efficient emptier. But a good hospital grade pump is a close second. So for the first couple months of your baby's life, if you're pumping, I recommend using a hospital grade pump. And um, I would check with the lactation specialist at the hospital you're going to be delivering at and ask them if there's a pump that you can rent or ask them what brand they would recommend if you're going to purchase one. A lot of insurance companies these days do cover the purchase of a good hospital grade pump. And I recommend a double electric pump, especially if you're going back to work because this helps save time and it's more efficient and it will help to empty your breast tissue. When you go back to work, be sure to pump as frequently as your baby would nurse at home. So let's say you go back to work when your baby's eight weeks old. At that point, babies are still usually nursing every three to four hours. And so if you can pump this frequently, that would be best. Let's say you have an eight hour shift. If you fed your baby before you left and then you pumped halfway and you were home in time to feed them again, then that's an average of about um, four hours between each feeding. And that should be pretty good. And that makes it so you only have to pump once a shift. Um, so work with your schedule, see what you can come up with, and that should help to maintain your milk supply. Now, the one other component to that is that when you're at work and you have a limited amount of time to pump, sometimes you're stressed out and it's hard for your baby or for your body to let the milk go. You have to release hormones that cause the milk to let down. And so you could sit there and pump for 10 minutes and not get anything unless letdown happens. So some mothers find success if they record pictures or videos on their phone of their children and then either listen to or watch them while they're pumping. And sometimes that causes your milk to let down. It's the same kind of thing that causes um, a breastfeeding mother to let down when she's just in a public place and any baby starts crying. Sometimes it just causes it to come out. So you might find more success if you're doing that and then just try to relax. Think relaxful thoughts, not stressful thoughts. Like I only have 10 minutes to do this because sometimes that will inhibit it and you can't, the milk won't come out. Going into it all, just remember that it's important when you have your baby to nurse every two to three hours, even if you feel like you're not making anything in those first few days until your milk comes in. You are making something and it's called colostrum. It's, um, we literally call it liquid gold because you don't make much of it. It's kind of goldish, yellowish in color, but it's packed with a punch. It's really high in fat and antibodies and protein. It's so good for your baby and primes their gut in, in preparation for the breast milk to come. And so a lot of mothers, if they don't feel like they're making anything, don't nurse or pump. And then that just makes the problem worse because then their milk never, never comes in. Your body does have to be stimulated. So start there by nursing or pumping every two to three hours after your baby's born. Continue to do this through the first four to six weeks of your baby's life. And then once your baby starts to nurse every three to four hours, you can continue with that same pattern if you're out of the home and needing to pump. Good luck to you. I hope things go better the second time around. And if you have any other questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.